it is a general reading this may or may not resonate if it doesn't check out your other placements if you need a personal reading all that information is going to be down below this is waiting energy i think you are waiting for someone to communicate to you or waiting for someone to come towards you with an offer that you've been waiting for this person uh, you know it's like you've made a decision to wait for this person Okay, probably you were indecisive all this while, but now it's like, you know, you're trying to probably wait for this person being more optimistic, you know, or this could also be you trying to look at the other side, you know, where the grass is greener on the other side, trying to be more optimistic, exploring your options, expanding your horizons, something of that sort out here. Okay, yeah, I think that's what it is, but I do feel that you are still waiting for someone here. You may have turned your back to them. But you're still waiting for them probably that they'll reach out someday or something like that because there is like a situation where i feel you don't feel valued you don't feel appreciated someone out here is you know like no matter what you try to do you know how much you try to convince them or what you try to talk to them you just keep hitting a wall you know you just can't get through this person here what else see your guards are up your guards are up out here Aries. I think you feel like this is a relationship or a connection that you're dealing with where uh, you put in your hard work, you put in your 100% and now you're losing patience. Yeah, I think you're losing patience out here and you're, you're, you're putting this person at bay. You're putting them at a distance out here. You know who is right for you, you know who's wrong for you and that's what's happening here. You're waiting for them but in a very defensive energy is what I'm getting here. Okay. Um... Yeah, you're keeping them at a distance. You could have probably wanted something, you know, where you wanted a label on the connection or you just wanted commitment, something more stable, secure. But now it's like you look at this person as more of like, you know, someone you need to protect yourself from. You need to guard them from, from yourself. You need to guard yourself from them. But yeah, you could have blocked them on Instagram, social media, not responding to their messages or whatever. But you just don't feel secure and safe and you feel the need to just keep yourself uh, away Four of Wands. it could be that someone wants this with you now someone wants a reunion or someone just sees you as their twin flame connection here there's this energy where I feel that someone here where you let the Tao moment fall right this person is trying to avoid a disaster and they're wanting to communicate with you this is the card of celebration. This is the card of someone wanting to come back together. Someone wanting, you know, um, more than just friendship. Okay, this person here is wanting to revive the passion in the connection out here. And they want to offer you stability and security is what I'm getting. What else? You know, there's, you're holding on or you're overthinking about a lot of what happened in the past here. I think you're, you're holding on to a lot of regret from the past of how things didn't work out. You're not being able to move on or you're not just being able to move forward here and stop crying over spilt milk, which is why you're in this energy of where neither are you being able to completely move on from this person, nor are you being able to be in that energy where you can give this person a second chance here. Just, you know, very of that very reckless energy is what I'm getting here. Okay, because you could be dealing with someone who's emotionally unavailable or it could just be your energy where you're just like not in the right frame of mind, you know, to um, offer someone something or even get an offer from someone. Tell me more. Yeah, this person wants to come back very reckless energy very reckless this person out here is very codependent on you they want to offer you a brand new beginning in love see that's what i'm saying right you isolated yourself from this person here and now they want to come back they miss you they want you but they have abandonment issues here you know it's not a well thought out decision even if you're trying to move on from this person i feel you're being very impulsive very impulsive you're acting without thinking you know that's what the fool does but again it takes calculated risk right? i think you're not here what's the fault tell me what about it is someone wants to come back around here plus your cards are up eight of cups you're walking away you're walking away because you're dealing with someone who's very in and out of your life very immature approach very immature approach this person doesn't know what they want they don't know what they want you know, it's like they treat you like a passion project. You know, they don't want to make anything real. 
but yes they're very passionate about you so they're they, they come in and out of your life you know very uh, again another reckless energy is what i'm getting here okay this person is probably very overconfident or this person just rushes into your life wanting you know um your attention you know they lack self-control and discipline out here see they don't have the willingness and determination here to overcome the obstacles you know and you're fed up you're fed up this person's got it and you're just choosing to emotionally distance yourself from this person here. You didn't have the strength all this while, but now you have the emotional strength to walk away from this is what I'm getting. Tell me more. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. You're dealing with someone here who's very afraid of losing their independence here. But they, it's like they'll probably realize that if they're sing, if they want to be in a relationship, they'd rather be with you than be single here. This person is coming off as very clingy, very needy, very codependent, okay? And uh, they want that approval from you right now, okay? This is someone here who you tried to work out things in the past with, but things were disappointed, it didn't work out. Or probably, you know, this person was too prideful, okay? See? This person is trying to just, they were trying to walk away from their emotions. They were just trying to be an escapist. They knew they loved you, they knew they wanted you, but they were just trying to be smart, overconfident, which... I mean, you know, trying to uh, make a very head over heart decision. They thought probably they'll get away with it. But unfortunately, they couldn't. What else for Aries? What else for Aries? Two pentacles. I think you know what by not giving a shit to this person you're trying to balance out your situation you're trying to balance out or this could be this person out here okay because clearly there's no growth and expansion between you both okay this person wants to talk to you you're not uh, putting in any effort out here and now this person wants to put in the effort here now this person wants to balance the situation here you know they're like uh, constantly juggling you know the idea of what to do but i think now they want to bring in that balance could be someone who's multitasking here okay but now they're trying to prioritize the relationship out here okay trying to uh, accomplish their goals with you earlier they weren't because their hands were too full or probably they were just indecisive here but yeah, it's still like that on and off connection here, okay? It's like one moment they want to be with you, the next moment they're, they ghost you, you know? Which is, you know, left a bad taste in your mouth. You're probably even holding a grudge from the, for this person here. What else for Aries? What else for Aries? Maybe this person's trying to juggle you and their responsibilities or juggle the decision of what they want to do with you or uh, being in two minds about what they can do next. It's just a lot of staying very diplomatic but still trying to balance out what's what, what else Aries? yeah see now they want to put in the effort here expect a lot of communication coming in okay because this person here is probably releasing any kind of mental fears anxiety you know stress that they had and they're probably wanting to come in towards you trying to balance the situation out they knew it was a one-sided situation all this while here now this person wants to put in the effort here they want to give you what you deserve okay they want to work hard okay they want to um give you they want to get into that receiving you know or giving of that emotional support okay that you always needed from this person out here they're taking a, wanting to take a more supportive role in this relationship here okay let's see they are definitely walking away let's see who this is what's the three of wands here three of wands What's the three of wands? This could be somebody who's brainstorming, planning what to do next with you or uh, how they can move ahead. What's the three of wands? This is a long distance relationship is what I'm getting. What's the three of wands? Or an online communication. Yeah, I see. This person here is brainstorming here. No, I think you're turning your back because you want to avoid a disaster here. You're dealing with someone who's emotionally unavailable, Aries. And I think you're turning your back to this person here. Yeah, that's what I was getting in the beginning. You were you're turning your back to this person here because there's been a disaster here and you're no longer wanting to. Uh, there's a lack of stability, security, commitment in this relationship and now you're just trying to avoid this. Maybe this person wants to come back to you. Okay, could be dealing with a narcissistic but uh, this person wants to come back probably but you're like no i'm done i'm fed up i'm just looking the other way 
What's the seven of wands? What's the seven of wands? Yeah, see, you're you're protecting yourself. Your guards are up against this person out here. You no longer want to revisit your past areas, is what I'm getting here. With the devil here, this is somewhat very toxic, very unhealthy. And you're just like, you know what, back off. Okay, you're just like, back off. You just don't want this person no more. You don't want to entertain this energy, which makes you feel so restricted, which drains your energy out, which keeps you, you know, uh, in that uh, toxic pattern out here. It's just fucking with your mind. I don't think you want to revisit the past anymore. You're just looking at this as a missed opportunity. Very closed off to this person. You're very closed off. What's the four of wands here? What's the four of wands here? Six of Swords. See, this person here, they want this commitment with you, but they don't do what is required to do in order for them to move towards you. So this person could be, you know, someone who's trying to make the road tougher than it seems here. They keep doing the same old shit, trying to expect different results is what I'm getting here. This person here, does. they don't do what is required to do. They keep, uh, you know, it's like they keep... They know what they want. They need to break a certain barrier, break a certain comfort zone in order for them to come towards you. But they refuse to get out of their comfort zone and they keep repeating the cycle. You know, they're going around in circles here. They want that with you, but they won't do it. Communication gap is another problem here. See, they want to communicate with you. But that's someone, you know what, I think this person who wants to keep it very fun, very light, all fun and games. Maybe they're not ready for commitment. They want it, but they're not ready for it. Okay, which is why it gets very toxic because you probably you guys get together, okay? You thinking that it's going to work out this time, but they come back towards you with the same old energy, okay? And it's draining you out now. What's the fool in reverse? What's the fool in reverse? What's the fool in reverse? I've had a fool in reverse. Yeah. You want happiness here. You know what, Aries? You want happiness here. You want an emotionally fulfilling relationship. But you're not ready to risk it. Because this person is probably fucked to your or probably you don't want to be a fool again. Maybe this person here is giving you an impression that they want things with you, right? But you're like, do I still want to risk it? Will this person, is, is this person capable of giving me what I want? I think you're very closed off and you're doing your own thing. You're not ready to open up. You're blocking your heart chakra because you have trust issues with them. You're just very focused on yourself, you know, just being very goal oriented. Could be dealing with someone here, you know, who has a hard time looking at things from a different point of view or a different perspective here. See, they're holding back communication like so much. This person here is probably not ready to jump in, okay? And I think they're having a hard time seeing things from distant point, dist, different point of view. They're making unnecessary, unnecessary sacrifices. This sacrifice is not needed here. It's just someone being very stubborn and set in their own ways here, okay? So they want to work on this relationship, but at the same time, they want to stay closed off, which is why they don't want to take a risk. You know, this person here, the new beginning is there. It's just about them wanting to come towards you with a leap of faith what's the five of pentacles in reverse here there is a breakup here right because you're not feeding this energy anymore you're not feeding this energy anymore here not nurturing not caring because it's a situation that's going nowhere here you're emotionally more involved in this connection than this person here this person is not ready to make the choice so they keep making the wrong choice here or this person is just not ready to um, want to be with you on the same page here. Again, keep in mind the energies can be flipped, all right? So just pick and choose who's who. But I feel there is a breakup, a disconnection here and this person is missing you a lot. See, they want to talk. The page of wands wants to keep coming out. What's the eight of cups? 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 I'm going to take one card. 
Yeah, see, I think you think it's a missed opportunity and just walking away. It's like, in fact, you're always just releasing this person here and just choosing to move forward here. You know, it's like sometimes you just got to realize when it's just no longer worth your time and energy out here. You probably feel you have good fortune ahead here, you know, but there's just this action that you're taking and you're just progressing forward here. You're just making your move and letting this person go. What's the nine of pentacles in reverse? What's the nine of pentacles in reverse? What's the nine of pentacles in reverse? Queen of Wands, yo. This person's so fucking attracted to you. They love you. You love them. This person feels very connected to you. Okay. They're so connected to you. They're so passionate about you. You know, this person here is saying you are someone very confident or someone here who's got a lot of suitors. I feel they say you're someone, you know, who's not chasing them. You're not chasing them and now they want to chase you. <laughs> so it's like now who's doing the chasing out here the relationship still stays you know it still remains but you're very focused on your money career goals see that's what i'm saying right you're not chasing them you're more focused on your financial independence uh just trying to do what's right for you you know realizing your worth realizing your worth your value here all right what's the two of pentacles here yeah <laughs> that's what i'm getting this person here now wants to bring balance to the situation here. They want to express their love, their affection, so that they can try and make their relationship strong again. They want to give you that stability, you know, that grounding connection here. They want to spend some more time with you and they want to offer you a relationship here. All your ribs and balanced here. Now they want to come in and they want to make things right. Okay. But I don't think you want you you give a shit to them. Not really. Because you're just doing you. Very, very focused doing you. It's like I'm getting like the tables have turned is what I'm getting here. Six of Pentacles, what's that? What's the Six of Pentacles here? What's the Six of Pentacles here? Clap at the Six of Pentacles. Clap at the Six of Pentacles. Clap at the Six of Pentacles, please. Mm -mm. See, they're coming in slow. Now look, the Knight of Pentacles, slowing move, slowest moving energy of the deck, but they mean business. Okay, they mean business here. They could be taking baby steps, you know. So I feel that this person comes back to you. They want a relationship, but if you want like commitment, if you want like get married to me or something like that, they do want that, but they're not ready for it. Okay, why? Because either they're stuck in their past, they keep doing the same thing over and over again, or because they just are not confident enough to move through those waters. You know, they still are in that rock, in those rocky waters, repeating the pattern here again. You know, that's what's happening here. It's like the road isn't as difficult as they seem to make it, you know. That's what's happening here. This person here knows it's not so tough here. But they're resisting moving forward here. Okay. Only because of the fear of the unknown here. This person could be also having a lot of emotional baggage. A lot of unresolved issues that are holding them back here. Okay. But they're very reluctant to make those positive changes that they need to make in order to come towards you. Okay. They're just struggling. They could also be struggling to making sense of why they're feeling stuck or held back because they want all this with you. And this is creating a lot of trust issues, you know, within you and them. So like I said, this person wants this with you. They know it was a one-sided situation. They want to balance the situation out, okay? But I think you're coming off as very distant, very emotionless. You're coming off as overly critical, you know, very spiteful. I feel you're behaving very stone-hearted towards this person here. And that is one of the reasons which could be holding them back. See, that's why they want to make it right. It's like, you know what I'm getting? This person is like, if I need to come towards Aries, right? I need to get my shit together. So the, yeah, they're very pessimistic sometimes. They're very slow moving, you know, they're perfectionist. But yeah, they reach their goal. So yeah, if this person's still keeping in the loop, chances are they want to reach their goal. See, they're manifesting you. They're manifesting you, okay? <laughs> queen of pentacles in reverse but you you're like you know what i ain't got no time for this you know this person's not being very communicative here i think this person is you know it could also be someone here who's trying to manipulate you you know to try and get a control over you 
okay but they're not being able to communicate what all they want with you the two of cups here the two of pentacles here six of pentacles here four of wands here Do, these are amazing cards out here you know but it's that communication which stops them okay it's like trying to you know not learning from their past you know uh, being a little pessimistic when it comes to you like will you take them back will you give them a second chance very you know that energy of where they're just could be a little spiteful also okay i want to clarify that why give me tell me more about the fool in reverse what's the fool in reverse tell me more about the fool in reverse So this person here, like I said, right, they lack the willingness and determination. They want to talk to you. Okay. But again, like I told you before, I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to um, put you in that loop where, yeah, yeah, this person wants this with you. I've been saying this over and over and over again. This person here wants to keep it very playful. Okay. Very optimistic. That's a free thinker, very childlike, fun and games. You get clingy. This person runs for the hills. Okay, they want to revive the passion in this relationship here. They want to flirt. They want this with you, but they still don't have, they're still doubting themselves if they can make it happen, okay? There's a lot of lack of emotional balance, okay? This person's not being able to balance their emotions here in order to set that straight, okay? Which is why they're reckless here. They come in, they go. They come in and they go. They don't think before they come in, right? So that's what's happening here. They're not thinking before they're coming in. Because this is also someone who is, you know, rushing into a new direction without thinking about the consequences. This person does not like have an end goal, end goal. This person probably enjoys the idea of approaching you rather than enjoying the entire process of wanting to be with you and what it takes to make things happen with you. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm getting. Okay. Yeah. 